Bank. Good afternoon. Here is the news update. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it has registered 100,588 new eligible voters within six months in Ogun State, ahead of the third quarter of the continuous voters registration exercise expected to begin on Monday. The agency in a data made available to Rock City FM indicates that E4 local government area tops the list with 15,073 new voters after the completion of the second quarter of the voters registration exercise, which ended last October 19. The Adodo local government area is second with 14,520 new voters, followed by the Abeokuta South local government area with 10,580 new voters, the Yewa South, 7,540 new voters, while Shekam completes the top five with 7,295 new voters. Ijabode local government area is in the sixth position with 5,519. The Abelkuta North is in the seventh position with 5,153 new voters. The Ijabu North is next with 4,941. Obafemi Wode, 4,154, while Iwikoro finishes in the top 10 with 3,997. Former Governor Ahmed Yirima of Zafara State has indicated interest in the 2019 presidency on the platform of APC if President Muhammad Buhari fails to seek re-election at the expiration of his first term in office. While he is interested in the APC ticket, Yirima says he would not contest against Buhari in the 2019 board. The former governor, who spoke on the issue in an interview with newsmen in Abelkuta, however says he will fully support Buhari in case he wants to contest the 2019 presidential poll. Yerima, now a senator, moved the motion for the adoption of Buhari as ABC presidential candidate at the last meeting of the party's National Executive Council, which was rejected. More than 250 persons have died of snake bite in the past three weeks in Plateau and Gumbe states. The deaths are blamed on the acute shortage of appropriate snake anti-venom drugs, which was last supplied to the country in August this year. The deaths, according to reports, are recorded from snake bite treatment centers at Kaltungo General Hospital, Ali Mega Pharmacy, Gumbe, and Comprehensive Medical Center Zanko in Plateau State. Apart from the victims of the snake bite who died, there are several others in critical condition at the treatment centers. Managing Director of Ali Mega Pharmacy, Abubakar Ali, says more than 70 died at the treatment centers in the last three weeks due to the lack of appropriate drugs to treat them. In foreign, at least 26 people have been killed and 20 others wounded after a gunman opened fire at a Texas church during Sunday service in the U.S. The attack happened at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, a small town in Wilson County. The victims' ages range from 5 to 72. The suspected gunman was later found dead in his vehicle some miles away. Police identified him only as a young white male, but U.S. media named him as Devin Patrick Kelly, 26. Kelly is reported to have been discharged from the U.S. Air Force in 2014 following a cut martial for assaulting his wife and child. The motive for the killings is not yet clear. Finally, in sports, Nigeria on the 20 women national team has survived a late scare and held the American counterparts in the ongoing FIFA on the 20 Women World Cup qualifier to a draw 1-1. After they trashed Tanzanian women on the 20 in the first round of qualification for the on the 20 Women's World Cup, Morocco proved not to be a stroll in the park for them as Mustafa Muslims called the opener for the hosts. It took extra effort before Falconet's high scorer Rashidat Ajibadi leveled the scores for Nigeria with the visitors holding out for 1 1 draw. The goal Ajibadi scored for Nigeria made it goal number five for her in the qualification rounds, and Nigeria will host the second leg at Sam Ogbemudia Stadium in a fortnight. 
That was the news update. Thank you very much for listening. I am Chianya Igbo. Good afternoon.